The first civil aircraft of the DO-27 series became famous as the Flying Zebra, thanks to the documentary Serengeti Must Not Die. Bernard Grimek and his son Michael used this aircraft to study the migration of herds of wild animals in the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. They took advantage of the aircraft's robust STOL characteristics, landing and takeoff in short spaces, and slow flight, ideal for research operations in wild environments. After World War II, due to restrictions on aircraft construction in Germany, Dornier moved its design office to Spain, where it participated in a tender for a new single-engine STOL liaison aircraft for the Spanish Air Force. He presented the DO-25 prototype that did not win the tender, despite which the Dornier company continued to develop and improve the aircraft, eventually leading to the creation of the DO-27. It was the first German-powered aircraft to be mass-produced after the Second World War. Compared to the DO-25 prototype, modifications were made to the wing and vertical stabilizer, among other things. The fuel containers, which had previously been designed as external tanks, were integrated into the wings and took off for the first time on 17 October 1956. A 270 horsepower Lycoming GO 480 opposed piston engine with a top speed of 232 km per hour, manufactured under license by BMW, was installed as the engine. The hull, structured as a load-bearing shell, included a two-person crew cabin and passenger space for up to six people or, alternatively, two stretchers, depending on the model. Its STOL characteristics made it a very popular aircraft both at home and abroad for liaison and observation purposes. It could reach an altitude of 15 meters after only 250 meters of takeoff and could land safely in only 183 meters of space, thus offering exceptional performance in small spaces. The last De 27 was produced in 1976, 11 years after the end of serial production, for the Rudsheimer Rheingau Air Service with existing spare parts and used for tourist flights. This machine was still in operation in 2018. The DO-27 was exported to various countries for both military and civil purposes. The Bundeswehr, the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Germany, was the main buyer of this aircraft. Its main functions for military users included transport, reconnaissance and search and rescue, as well as patient transport. It was also used in combat missions by the Israeli and Portuguese armed forces, the latter even equipped with armaments such as rocket launchers and bombs to suppress riots. As a civil aircraft it was used to transport passengers and cargo on small local air routes. In addition to transport, it was used as an agricultural aircraft, for reconnaissance and as a photographic platform. In Africa, some examples were used by missionary stations and hospitals. In Germany, many ex-Bundeswehr aircraft were sold to private individuals and flying clubs and used for towing and transporting paratroopers. In the Lower Saxony Fire Service, DO-27s were used to locate and monitor forest fires in the 1980s. The Dornier DO-27 distinguished itself as an outstanding STOL aircraft, due to its versatility, reliability and robustness, in both military and civil fields, proving to be an aircraft suitable for multiple tasks. Moreover, its long operational career testifies to its importance in the aviation landscape. A total of 627 units were produced, 